Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. I'm Lauri. I'm Teemu from Gunpoint. And today we are going to crush some guns and ammunition. And we are going to do everything inside of our bulletproof bunker. If somebody can crush guns and ammunition, it's us here. Everything is safe and don't try this at your home. This is a bit stupid. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit stupid. And uh, thanks for guns and ammunition to Teemu. Teemu has the nicest shooting range in Europe. And coolest because we also have the sauna and alcohol license in it, in the same place with the guns. But of course they're separated when used. Yeah, and if you know anything about Finland, that's like world record. That's not easy task to pull off. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. There's a lot of paperwork to do that. So Gunpoint is a bit like our place here. It's super safe. Teemu has the nicest like uh, ballistic protection and everything on the shooting range. And you can shoot in three directions. Yeah, 180 degrees, but not with the all calipers. In the end, end, end trap we can shoot, you know, 50 BMG. Some people know what it means. So, uh, but we won't do it, you know, indoor, you know, as well. But uh, we have options to do it. Yeah, but the side walls can take the pistol calipers. Yeah, all the pistol calipers for the side walls. Yeah, and what we are going to crush today? We have a couple pistols. Yes, um, semi-automatic 9 mm It's functioning. It's a fully functioning weapon, and uh, we'll see how it's going to handle the pressure and uh, uh, basic re revolver, uh, LR22 revolver. And uh, we're going to test them, press them uh, empty, of course, for the safety. Yeah, but after the guns are gone, we are going to crush some uh, bullets, live ammunition, and then Teemu got the best idea ever to do a full clip. Yeah. I'm not sure can we do a full one, but we are going to put something there and crush it. But uh, should we start the revolver? Yeah, definitely. Most interesting part. Yeah. Okay, and this is really hard to decide how we are going to crush them. Uh, this is not going to be like important science. This is just for shit and giggles. So I'm going to crush them in a way that looks the nicest. And I think this looks pretty goddamn good. And we have this holder here down. And then on top of there, there is a five millimeter bolt going into the barrel. So this is like, it's, it's quite solid here. It's not going to go anywhere, but you're going to see what's going to happen. So what do you think, Tim? How many tons it takes like before well, some, something uh, breaks? First of all, it looks like, you know, professional as it can be. <laughs> and, uh, and, and as soon as we get, you know, something like uh, 10 tons, it started to go down. I would say and like 25, you know, it's going to crash. I, I would say like one ton and it's gone. Really? Yeah. Well, then we can complain, you know, the manufacturer. Yeah, what but, they have but, done. But, <laughs> but do you, do you like this is, this is professional. Do you know super, why? Super professional. But do you know why it's professional? Well, tell me. So. Because we get paid to do this. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the first time we or anybody else tries this, so I have no idea how it's going to go. The press is on the slowest setting, and I think here we go. Oh, oh. I the love bolt. it! I the love it! The bolt gave up. Bolt gave up. Okay, let's 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 do something else. <laughs> it was surprisingly strong. <laughs> it didn't even bend before the bolt started to go off. Holy shit, that's pretty tough. Does it still work? The handle is slightly, slightly cracked. Opens. Opens. No problem. <laughs> so, stronger bolt and let's go again. But uh, I would say that Teemu had better guess than I had. Okay, this is 8.8 .8 bolt, bit too soft. We're going to try with the drill, because this is tool steel the hardest steel that we can get. So it's not going to bend, this is going to explode, the drill. Well, I, I would say then we have, now we have, you know, pretty much the same strength material, you know, in yeah. both, at least the barrel and, you know, the yeah. drill. What, the, what, what steel they use? They can use stainless steel, but if it's not stainless, it's just like, it's probably not tool steel, but something no, a bit better. No, but it needs to handle the pressure, you know, all the pressure. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. It could be chrome, chrome. What's this? Chrome uh, molybdenum. Anyway. Chrom yeah, chrome molybdenum. Some, something, something like that. that. You know in the comments. Yeah, you can all Google it, you know how, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> the comment box always knows. Okay, here it goes. Oh. 
Oh, oh holy shit. Was it the drill? Okay. It was the drill. Okay, we have to we have to change the setup slightly. <laughs> they are much stronger than I thought. And it didn't even bend yeah. before you know the drill went. So, well something happened at least. But is it still fireball? Mm, not at all. The barrel have went in, you know, for the chamber, so Yeah, it's it's, it's like squeezed the frame. Yeah. But if we have accidentally something inside, it might go off at least once. Yeah. <laughs> Fun yeah. time use. Yeah, but pretty good. Yeah, that drill was probably the most dangerous. So many yeah. monest kohta. Yeah, it's they yeah, they explode into multiple pieces. This was this was by far the most dangerous part of the crush. Yeah. Because this is like really exploded. This can take up to 16, I think. Yeah, yeah, we are going to try one more time, bigger drill, more more force. Yeah. Let's see. And then we change the direction. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I found this broken tungsten carbide drill bit. So this is by far the hardest material that we can use under the gun. I give 75% of chances that the uh, gun is going to snap now. Yeah, or 85. Does it still work? Yeah, not with this hand, but with both. <laughs> yeah, but the hammer doesn't. No, move. no, no, of course not. Did the, <laughs> did, did the our tungsten thing snap or what? Oh, it's no, here. It, it's a slipped it's, out. It, it, yeah, it, it, it slipped scratched. out when yeah. the hammer went. Yeah. yeah, true, true. Yeah, I think I think like uh, now it's time to uh, just finish it off like this. Flatten it out. Do we need to take that out? I'm going to uh, do a like brave guess and say that this doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, true after that. <laughs> it's go it's going to make some room for itself. Yeah, so let's finish it off with 300 tons. Yep. Okay, here we go. I can say already that this is one of the most surprising things. I thought that these are much softer. I'm, I'm not sure why. But here it goes. Full speed, full power. Okay, let's <laughs> have a look. <laughs> I think it got slightly flat there. O okay, let's see. Do we take it down? Yeah. Maybe. We oh, yeah. <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> but we were like uh, wondering about the cylinder. Oh, can man. It, can we break it? Because it holds the pressure, but I think it's so hard that it's already like brittle, that it doesn't bend it like crumbles. It's warm. And here are all the parts. It's it still looks like a gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The shape, you can recognize it, you know, it was a gun. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, unfortunately, we uh, promised to deliver all the uh, parts to police so they can remove the gun from the register. But that yeah. would be nice, quite nice piece on your wall. And the barrel, it looks like it's still in original shape. I think the barrel might be like, okay. Should we take it to part and see? Yeah, and bend it. Let's go to the old press. We can easily build a setup there and like split it in half. Almost round. Not almost round. Almost round. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> well, <laughs> nothing goes through through it anymore. You need quite a quite, quite a specific ammo, ammo for yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's not that common when I'm checking, you know, the barrel from this side. But now I can really do it. Yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> I was also laughing at the same time. At one point, you can uh, like treat the gun like it's not gun anymore. Yes. And uh, this might be the point, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe it's, it stopped being gone like half an hour ago. Hey, check this innovation. And different kind of ammunition, so you need another guy to uh, put it on fire. Yeah, yeah the, the guy who ignites <laughs> should be a little bit braver, but, but I'm quite well hidden. Okay, to prevent any uh, like slippage, we made this hole there. I can say that this is the uh, first gun holder of this type and probably the last. 
Yeah. And yeah. then on the top tool we have this. So it's going to this is going to be there and then we are going to Okay, it's ready and I think this is going to uh, work at the first try. Mm -hmm. I put yeah, it to sure. be a bit yeah, it's slow now. I think it's good to be slow. Look That's at nice. that. Yeah, yeah, it works. That's super. Yeah, but it looked pretty good. Yeah, I think th that's like pretty much the best that you can do. <laughs> Let's go have a look. Is there anything to finish off? I think the, the barrel is slightly bent. It is not, but not too badly. Yeah. And uh, not recognizable yeah. uh, uh, as a gun that much anymore. Yeah, I would say that this is, this is like ready at the first try. Somehow it looks violent. Mm -hmm. It is a violent, you know, uh, the gun. And now it really looks violent. Yeah. <laughs> it looks a bit like, bit like really bad, really bad ma like yeah. detonation. Yeah, what okay. went wrong? Okay, this is a bit <laughs> hard to like twist like that, but... Someone can re replicate, you know, how it happened in real life. Yeah. What needs to be done for it, you know, it looks yeah. like this and afterward. Smells like burnt. Yo. I hit hot. it. I hit no, it, it hot. And there is the uh, dent that we use to keep it upright. And the barrel has collapsed completely. It's like figure eight. Done the marks in there as yeah, well. Yeah, it's it's printed itself there. It's not very deep, but you can you can see it where it was. Yeah, you know, it printed itself to the metal. And the video started to get so long that I decided to do ammunition on separate video and you can see it here by clicking this link. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.